Joe Biden just went to visit Michigan. Occasionally, he, he tries to get out of the house. It's good for him to get fresh air. It's good for him to get a little exercise. You know, remember what day it is. So, so Joe Biden goes to Michigan, and as he's driving up in the presidential motorcade, there are people chanting, F Joe Biden, F Joe Biden, also known as Let's Go Brandon. There are signs that say F Joe Biden. And, and Joe Biden gets to his campaign stop. He's standing in front of a caterpillar piece of, you know, big, big, heavy equipment. And he's good American manufacturing, good American farm jobs. He's an all American guy. And Joe Biden has the audacity to claim that he is the most popular president in American history, won more votes than anyone else. I took this agenda to the country. They said it was time to build an economy that looks out from Scranton, Pennsylvania, where I grew up as a kid, instead of looking down from Wall Street. An economy that looks out from Howell, Michigan, and towns like it all over America, that brings people from every race, background, religion, into the game. That's what, and notwithstanding some of the signs that I saw come, that's why 81 million Americans voted for me. The largest number of votes in American history. Clear majority were supported when they supported me. So Joe Biden, he he's clearly irritated by the let's go Brandon stuff and by the signs because he references the signs, right? He says, notwithstanding some of those signs that I saw, you know, all the ones of people saying how much they hate my guts, uh, I got the most votes of anyone in American history. I'm so popular. I got 81 million. And then what do you hear in the crowd? Did you hear that all that excitement? You just hear this. You're like, yeah, uh, uh, 80. Uh, there were like six people out in the crowd. You actually, when, when Joe Biden first got there, he walks in, you know, he wants to make his rock star entrance. By the way, I know it's easy to forget. This guy is supposed to be the president of the United States, right? You, you want to walk out, you want to walk out to proud to be an American with 50,000 people there, just like at the Trump rallies. Woo, yeah, Joe Biden, woo, the president, woo. What happens? He walks out. Here's his response. Hello, Michigan. It's good to be back. <laughs> Hello, Michigan. Uh, <laughs> that is, uh, I think, indicative of something that, that we talk about a lot on this show, which is the, the difference between the appearance of how things are and how things really are. The huge gap, the chasm between what our ruling class tells us the world is like and the, the situation on the ground is and what the real situation on the ground is. So what the ruling class says is, Joe Biden got the most votes ever. He got 70 gazillion votes and more than, no, I think 700,000 gazillion votes. And it was, he's the most popular president ever in American history. And yeah, never mind that no one showed up to his rallies and never mind that in order for, for him to win the White House, we had to change all of the election rules and, you know, spend days and weeks counting it. And uh, never mind that people keep booing him everywhere. There's a crowd in the entire country at sports games at concerts and everything. No, he got a gazillion, billion, zillion votes and he's super duper popular. And then there's the reality, which is anywhere this guy goes, people boo him and they heckle him. And all of the public opinion polls are saying that he's deeply, deeply unpopular. Even the ones that are supposed to skew to his side all say no one likes him. Nobody really believes that Joe Biden is the most popular president ever. No one believes it. Even the people who are claiming it to you do not really believe it. They're, we're all just lying <laughs> to one another and to ourselves if, if we are reciting the left wing dominant narrative. Okay. It's, it's sad, but everyone seems to be comfortable with, with the fact that we're living in lies. I'm so glad you enjoyed that clip. That makes me feel really good. If you want to catch the whole show, you can do it here. Ring the bell, subscribe on YouTube. You get the whole show here. Or if you don't want to be censored quite as much as we are sometimes by our friends over here, then you can go to Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Stitcher, Google Play, wherever you get your podcasts for free and subscribe to the Michael Knowles Show. Go do it. Maybe leave a five-star review. That'd be nice. I'd appreciate it. We'll see you next time.